What's going on guys? Back out here with the Outcast 4S. So we're going to make another 4S pass today. Uh, as you guys know, I did hit 80 miles an hour with it last time out. Uh, hit 80. Um, I did gear up now, so we're going to see if we could at least crack into the 90s. Uh, I took a look at the log from the last pass. Everything looked great. As far as amp draw, we're like right around 200 amps. Uh, voltage drop was very minimal, as expected from the Azor um, 9K LiPo. So we're going to go ahead, get the LiPo plugged in. I did end up gearing up on the pinion and geared down on the spur. So I should be somewhere around 107 miles an hour. At least that's what the gearing thing told me. Obviously, with this weather out here, I am in Georgia. It is pretty cold right now. I think it's right around, hot, it's in the high 50s. Um, so I'm not expecting to hit the PB which would be somewhere in the 100, uh, 100 mile an hour range. So I think somewhere in the 90s um, is what I'm expecting. So that's the goal is to at least crack into the 90s, which I think is possible. Um, I am out here at the testing area where I normally run my cars. And um, I wanted to kind of give myself a little bit more breathing room. The last spot that I was at is a smaller spot, but it's closer to home. Uh, this place is a little further out, but it gives me uh, way more room to work with. So. All right, let's get this battery plugged in and we'll go ahead and make a pass. All right, guys, got the GPS on. Get tracking. Let's go ahead and make a pass. Oh, good. I almost considered uh, swapping out the receiver, getting my radio link in here, but um, I was like, ah, oh, forget it. I was having success when I hit 80. Figure, why not? Keep it going. Ugh. Didn't give me any issues before, so. All right. 89, almost there, almost at 90. I'm gonna go ahead and give it one more rip. See if I can crack into the 90s. Uh, I'm almost positive that motor's not even hot. Uh. All right, let's, let's go ahead and give it one more pass here. guys that thing straight as an arrow it's always a bit fidgety when I start uh, taking it out but as soon as it starts picking up speed, that thing straightens out real good. Ugh. 
All right, let's see if we got into the 90s. Eighty-eight, yeah. Eighty-nine, still a new PB, but I, I know that the biggest issue that I'm running into is this cold weather right now. Um, it's not letting me get there, but that's fine. I did hit a new PB. Was hoping to get, at least get into the nineties, but uh, just wasn't there. I'll check the motor temps now. I'll pop it up so you guys can take a look. Um, I'm almost positive there's still more room to gear up. Um, if that's the case, then I'm almost positive we'll definitely crack into the 90s once I gear up. So let me just crack this thing open so you guys can take a look at the temps. Um, see how the car is looking. Yeah, I mean, I'm keeping my finger on it, so... I got 77, 76, yeah, it's not even. Right on the gearbox here, 83. And we know the ESC is not even. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and gear up even more. I did gear up a good amount uh, just to get this pass in. So um, it looks like I'm going to have to go even higher. So I'm thinking possibly somewhere around a 30, 30 tooth pinion might get me there. Um, but only one way to find out. We'll have to plug in that uh, 30 tooth pinion and see if we can crack into the, uh, uh, the 90s. Yeah, because it seems like 100 is going to be... <laughs> Uh, pretty difficult um, So yeah, that's all I have guys if you guys have any questions or comments leave them down below and I will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching